Uh, hey, what's going on guys? Comfy Neat here. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, something that's been a major problem in my life. And it's probably, uh, you know, maybe not the number one reason, but it's a pretty significant part of being neat, I guess, or part of what's keeping me neat because it stops me from doing the necessary, I guess, tasks or routines or whatever things to self-improve and improve my situation and overcome a lot of the problems which could in theory be overcome with enough hard work like my social anxiety, my I guess poor social skills or Aspergic, as whatever Asperger symptoms and um, that would probably have to be my endless capacity, my endless ability to procrastinate and I don't know exactly um, what causes it but it is um, you know a huge problem for me um, and I've been doing it ever since I was a child so you know maybe it's the tendency of all kids or all growing people to procrastinate because it's about things like delayed gratification and you know putting off the thing that you want to do in the moment so that you can benefit yourself in the future by doing something you don't like in the moment but it's it's as if as a kid i never developed the skill properly because i was basically procrastinating procrastinating all the way from i guess primary school to high school and even my first one or two years of university were when I could still kind of get away with it. And I guess back when standards standards were a lot lower um, and I would basically always put off, um, you know, doing homework, assignments, presentation, working on important things because, well, you know, I was at the time addicted to video games and you know anime and YouTube and I would basically indulge in these guilty pleasures these dopamine um, these dopamine pumps or whatever endlessly and as the end result I feel like I never developed the I guess ability to delay gratification and overcome procrastination wow that just rhymed I'm a rapper but uh yeah sorry that's fucking lame um but yeah um what was i saying yeah um i never developed the ability to yeah not procrastinate because maybe it's a skill that kids learn or maybe they innately have i have no idea but as a result of this um you know it's been a huge problem for me it carried on um, like after I stopped going to school, stopped participating in education. And, um, you know, it pretty much um, happens uh, in every aspect of my life. Like, for example, I'll procrastinate whenever I'm asked to do something like put away the dishes, you know, write up my some sort of resume. I tell myself I'll write up a resume um, or even more importantly, things that mean a lot to me, like making music. I'll always procrastinate making music by engage, indulging in things that I'm addicted to and, um, or even making this video, for example, because I actually like the idea of being a YouTuber as well and having a successful channel. But, you know, I remember saying that I would stick to a one video every two days schedule but i haven't done that and the reason for that is because well i procrastinate i procrastinate making videos because i have no idea um, maybe it stems from some sort of fear of success or the fear of um you know i don't know i guess putting in effort into things because maybe I didn't really put a lot of effort into school as a kid but was able to get away with it so maybe that has become my life basically or has somehow messed up my brain but 
yeah, I just, it's like, I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll wait until the anxiety and the dread of not doing what I'm supposed to do is too much. And then I'll do it. And, you know, I guess it doesn't matter as much for things that I have um, no, uh, I guess, pressure for. I mean, that I have pressure, that I have pressure for, like school assignments, because they have set deadlines. And in my mind, if I don't meet that deadline, then I'm F, or at least that's how it was as a kid. Eventually, I just stopped giving crap um, in university, unfortunately. And, um, but yeah, I'll just keep holding off till the very last moment. And it's even harder for things that don't have that set deadline, like making music, things that you have to be self-motivated to do, as opposed to being motivated by someone like a boss or whatever, a teacher. And yeah, uh, as a result of that, I end up putting off things that would make my life inf infinitely better. And it's not like I know, uh, it's not like I don't know what's right for me because it's like I've in, I've read so much, I've digested so much self-help, you know, whatever content and, you know, things like that and self proven stuff. And a lot of it makes sense, but a lot of it doesn't address, you know, actually address procrastination because they say things like, um, oh, just ignore the feeling. But yeah, I know that, but I still end up doing it anyways. It's like something else is controlling me or maybe I'm just some defective human being and you know my genes are not meant to be passed on or whatever. But I'm kind of rambling. Um, yeah, so I end up procrastinating and I'll often procrastinate by doing, you know, the thing that is not the primary task. Uh, forget if I said this early in the video or not, but you know, the thing that, it's like whenever something is, I guess a job to me or something that is necessary to do, necessary to do like even eat, even like eat food, I'll procrastinate doing that. And yeah, whatever it is, if I don't find it necessary, like, for example, if it were my job to play video games, as much as I like video games, I would end up procrastinating doing that. If it were my job to watch anime for a living, I would probably end up procrastinating watching anime. And it's not even about whether I enjoy something or not, or whether I am, you know, addicted to something, because I, I'll, I'll tend to turn to things that I'm addicted to, like, you know, video games, anime, as I've said before, and YouTube and stuff like that. But if it were my job to consume these things, if my life was on the line, if I didn't watch 10 YouTube videos a day, even one YouTube video a day, I would procrastinate doing that by playing video games and, you know, other things like, yeah, if it were my job to um, yeah, to not, to do something that I normally enjoy, I would procrastinate doing that. So it's weird. I don't know what the reason is for this, but it's like, I'll do everything in my power to not do the thing I'm supposed to do. And you know, maybe that's the secret to procrastination is to tell myself that it's my job to become a degenerate. And then maybe I won't become a degenerate. Maybe I just found the answer, but realistically, I'll probably procrastinating, changing my mind about that. And then, you know, as usual, I'll end up forgetting about it. So, <laughs> gee, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm literally the king of procrastination. And a lot of people claim to have this title, but, you know, maybe I might not be, but I'm pretty up there as far as professional procrastinators go. I don't have that innate ability to delay gratification and do what's right for me, um, regardless of whether I'm ordered to or not. Although being ordered to kind of helps a little bit, but it's regardless of all these things, I just have this tendency, this endless um, ability to procrastinate 
infinitely until the ends of time. And maybe if I could sum up my life with one word, it would probably have to be procrastination because it's pretty much all I've been doing. It's like I've become a master at procrastinating. They say 10,000 hours is the minimum it takes to master your craft. And I've spent untold amounts of my life just procrastinating. So how do I even beat this? It's like I'm trapped in an endless cycle of procrastination and addiction and, you know, all of the consequent, you know, I guess consequences of that. Maybe my all of my other mental illnesses could be accounted for by just how badly my dopamine systems get fucked by procrastinating and being addicted to things. You know, maybe I don't even have, maybe that would account for me feeling depressed some of the time or me, um, you know, having poor social skills. Like if I put in the work to fix that, then by going out and meeting others, I would, but it's like, I'm also, it's also like, cause I'm so afraid. There's like a deep, a fear deep down inside me that prevents me from doing what's right. But of what though? I have no idea what I'm afraid of. I guess I'm afraid of failure. Is it that I'm afraid of failure or that I'm, I'm afraid of success? I guess I'll talk about these things in another video because um, I've probably been talking pretty long right now. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and um, I guess me filming one outside of my room. Hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the change of view. So anyways, um, hopefully hit the like and subscribe button below and uh, this is Comfy Neat signing out.